Almighty, you're worthy, worthy is the Lamb. You're worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Amen. Amen. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and worship Him with us this morning. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. You reign, you reign, O oh Lord. You reign, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. Holy are you Lord God? Are you Lord God Almighty? You're worthy, worthy is the Lamb. You're worthy, worthy is the Lamb. You're holy, for you are holy. Holy, holy, holy are you Lord God? Are you Lord God Almighty? Almighty, you're worthy, worthy is the Lamb. You're worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Amen. Keep playing real soft. Listen, on this morning, we're talking about tough love. I believe the Holy Ghost wants to speak to us and encourage us and strengthen us. It's growing up time, saints. It's time to grow up in God and be the people that God is calling us to be in the body of Christ. Father, minister to your sheep on this morning. Minister to your precious bride. Minister to your people. Pour your love out on them on this morning. God, I pray that the word of God would be so simple that even a child would be able to understand what the Spirit of the living God is saying to the church. Feed us with bread from heaven. Jesus, you said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the living God. We thank you. We bless you this morning, God. We love you with all of our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, I want to take you right into the Word of God this morning, in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, from verses 5 through 11. Now on this morning, we're talking about tough love. This is something that, it's not too popular in the body of Christ, but it is the word of the living God. And as a preacher of the gospel, I'm not here to sugarcoat the gospel. I'm not trying to win favors from people. I want Christ to say, well done my good and faithful servant, when I stand before God. We take these broadcasts very seriously. This is a ministry that believes in preaching the full counsel of the Word of God. We believe in lifting Jesus high. We are not ashamed of His words because He said if we are ashamed of His words, He will be ashamed of us when we stand before the Father in heaven. Now watch this. Let's go into the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verses 5 and I'm teaching you notice I've been teaching. I feel just feel an anointing to pull back from the heavy preaching and take, the, take time out and help you understand the word. Listen to verse 5. The Bible says, And you have forgotten, you have forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children. He said, My child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline and don't give up when he corrects you. Don't become discouraged when God disciplines you or he corrects you or he confronts you about something that needs to be fixed in your life. Listen to this, verse 6. For the Lord disciplines those he loves. And this is why I felt inspired by the Holy Ghost to call this message this morning. Tough love. Tough love is lacking terribly in this generation. Not the entire generation. All is not lost. That's not true. But we are being raised in a generation that does not value respect for people in authority. We, we see in a generation a lot of people 
don't have respect for parents anymore. And you know, this is one of the signs of the last days. The Apostle Paul says in the last days, children will be disobedient to parents. We are in that time right now. Now watch this. Verse 6 says, For the Lord disciplines those he loves, and he punishes or corrects each one he accepts as his child. Verse 7, As you endure this divine discipline, remember that God is treating you as his own children. Whoever heard of a child who is never disciplined by his father? Come on, somebody. Talk back to me. If God doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means that you are illegitimate. You are not really his children at all. Are you hearing me? So if God corrects you, if God disciplines you, if he don't answer every prayer you pray when you want, because God is not at your beck and call. You are not to order him around. He is God. He is a king. Hello, somebody. And sometimes God does not answer our prayer because we are not ready for it. The Bible says you ask and don't receive because you ask amiss. Hello, somebody. He says you ask and don't receive because you want to consume this stuff on your lusts. God is not going to fulfill your lusts. Hello. He will give you the desires of your heart, a desire that the Holy Ghost birth in you. That's something that's going to help strengthen you as his child and make you a better person that will express his divine nature. Amen. Let your works shine before men that they may glorify your father, which is in heaven. Now watch verse eight says, if God doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means that you are illegitimate and not really his children at all. I don't care who you are, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, missionary. It doesn't matter. Lay person, a believer. Listen, if you are born again, everybody in the body of Christ experiences the discipline of God. I want you to hear me good on that. Listen to verse 9. Since we respected our earthly fathers who disciplined us, Shouldn't we submit even more to the discipline of the father of our spirits and live forever? You know, some people are crying over some relationship. Please help this woman become my wife, help this man. And you know what? God may not be giving that person to you because they may destroy your life and you may end up in hell over that person. Or plain and simple, it just probably isn't God's will for your life. Now it's time to grow up, dry your tears up, dust yourself off and move on. When are you going to sit around waiting forever? You know, God said to the children of Israel, how long are you going to circle this mountain? It's time to move north. Quit circling the same mountain. If you're crying and praying and crying and praying and your prayer ain't being answered, it just not might be God's will for you. Hello, somebody. It may not be God's will. It may not be his timing or he may just... He, God probably is protecting a whole lot of you why certain things hadn't worked out for you. The job didn't work out, probably wasn't good for you. God knows that job might have destroyed your life. Watch this. Listen to verse 10. For our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years, doing the best they know how. But God's discipline is always good for us so that we might share in his holiness. Listen to verse 11. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. We didn't, get, we didn't give our kids everything they cried for. They would, we, we would have ruined them because some stuff they wanted was not good for them. Are you listening to me? You can't let the kid sit there and eat a whole gallon of ice cream. My God, he's going to vomit all over the place. So what do you do? You give him just enough to satisfy him that you know it's not going to hurt him. So God loves us. He disciplines whom he loves. The Bible says if God loves you, he disciplines you. He corrects you. He confronts you about your sin. I refuse to just preach a mamby can be man, man-made, watered-down gospel that's not going to bring deliverance into people's lives. I have to present you, the body of Christ, as a chaste bride adorned for her husband. Are you hearing me? We love you guys. You know that. 
Oh Lord my God When I in awesome wonder Consider all the worlds thy hands have made I see the stars I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder your power throughout the universe displayed then sings my soul then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great you are how great you are how great how great you are then sings my soul then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great you are how great you are how great you are father in the name of Jesus Christ touch your people this morning that person who may be discouraged because you are not giving them what they want as quick as they would like to have it but father God you love your people you know what's best for us God we submit to your discipline we submit to your correction we know that everything you do for us is based out of pure divine love your word says and we know that all things work together for good to those who love you who are called according to your purpose and God we submit and we surrender to you this morning and we say not our will but let your will be done so I pray for that brother I pray for that sister who just felt like God hadn't been doing things as fast as they would like it to happen I feel like God want me to say to you he loves you and he cares about everything you are going through and he is making a way out of no way for you you got to just trust him God don't have spoiled brats in his kingdom he have children sons and daughters and he disciplines every one of us I am so grateful God didn't answer every prayer I pray I probably would have been backslidden by now I just thank God that he protected me he didn't always he does not always give us what we want because he knows that everything we want is not good for us even when it's painted and dressed up and looks like it's good for us God knows the heart of that situation and he loves us enough to protect us to warn us and to order our steps amen I love you God loves you and I hope this message on tough love was an encouragement to you and remember stand with us support the work of God support this ministry send in your donations sow your seeds the information is on the screen and I want to say we appreciate every single thing that you are doing to support the work of God amen we love you guys remember subscribe to our YouTube channel if you didn't have a chance to subscribe click on the red and white button on the bottom of the screen and also if you're watching us through Facebook like us on Facebook follow us on Facebook and I'm asking all of you help me spread the Word of God share this broadcast with somebody that you know need encouragement amen we love you guys God bless you and we look forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning take care God bless you bye-bye